So in this next one, we have to apply the power, power to product and power to quotient rule, which is again provided to you. The basic thing you guys need to understand about the power to product and the power to quotient rule is when you have an expression raised to a power, that power distributes to every term in the product or the quotient. Okay. Now please note there is no addition or subtraction signs in here, right? Because this is what mix gets everybody confused. We start talking about binomial squareds, which we're going to talk about today, and everybody wants to now again distribute. You can't distribute an exponent across an expression separated by addition or subtraction. You can do it when it's separated by multiplication and division. Do you guys see the difference? Yes? No. Because x plus 2 squared is x plus 2 times x plus 2. Okay, And we're going to be talking about this later today. And I noticed last class period, students started doing this when we were only talking about this. And the difference is addition or subtraction. When you see addition or subtraction, you can't apply that distributive like that with a power. You can do it with numbers, just not a power. Not with an exponent. You can do it with numbers. If I had 2 times x plus 2, you guys know that. That's distributive property. But you can't do it with a power. So so I'd like to show it just separately, again, just so everybody can see it, so I take a step at a time. So now you guys can basically see I'm doing 2 cubed, y to the fourth raised to the third, and y to the third power. So 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. y to the fourth raised to the third, when you multiply power to product rule, which we talked about, you multiply. So that's going to be x to the 12th. And then y to the, th y to the third is just y to the third. So that's it. So, done. 